Right. Uh, this is the question that we stopped last week. Last week we stopped with this question uh, under the graph section, right? So it tells us in question number nine six it tells us six hundred questions due. It tells us an object travels first two hundred seconds with the constant velocity of twenty. Within the next twenty, within next twenty seconds, the velocity increases from twenty to thirty. So it's there is an acceleration. After that, the vehicle travels with the obtained velocity of thirty meter per second for a period of two hundred seconds, and finally, during the last thirty seconds of time period, the object comes to rest. So, what kind of motion is this there? Constant velocity, acceleration, constant velocity, and deceleration. Right. So, if this is zero, this is zero to twenty, twenty height. If this is zero. This is thirty. Therefore, this height is thirty. If this height is thirty, this should also be thirty. Am I right? And if I mark this angle as alpha, I can find tan alpha is equal to the acceleration from a velocity type graph. Gradient is the acceleration. If I mark this angle as beta, I can find the deceleration. So if this is thirty, this should also be thirty. Right? So both should be thirty each. 30 and this is 30, so you can find the deceleration. Here you can find the acceleration. If this is 20, this should be 20, and if this is 30, this is 20. So it means this height is 20. So this should be 10. It should be 10, right? So uh, this is what we have already discussed. I just wrote. Uh, I have just drawn it for you to uh, recall your memory about the question. Here we want to draw the displacement time graph. We have answered all the things of this question, but we did not complete the uh, displacement time graph. So here we have this is constant velocity, constant velocity. This is constant acceleration, constant acceleration. This is again. constant velocity and this is constant deceleration right so you can use any uh, letters to indicate the motion if you have not drawn this graph i give you about 5 minutes draw this if you have not drawn this graph Okay, uh, if you have not drawn this graph, please draw it here. So, if you have not drawn this gra uh, graph, please quickly draw it. I'll give you five minutes.
Like I think time is enough for you to grow this velocity time graph. Uh, I gave that time to some of the students who were not able to grow it uh, that time. So can you hear me properly before I start the explanations? Uh, could you please tell me whether you are able to hear me clearly or not? Yes, sir. Right. Thank you, dear. Now listen here. So during the first 200 seconds, it travels with the constant velocity. How do we represent constant velocity in a displacement time graph? So now we are going to a displacement time graph, right? So time is indicated by symbol T. Displacement is indicated by S. Unit is meter. So sometimes uh, people may people may use the term uh, ST graphs. For the velocity time graph, sometimes uh, people may use ST graphs, right? So because we use S4 uh, velocity, S, sorry, S4 displacement. So that's why some, uh, some people use the term ST graphs, right? So during the first 200 seconds, the object travels with a constant velocity. Constant velocity is indicated by this in the ST graph. So let me mark the time as 200. If you want, uh, you can find the displacement here, right? If you want, you can find the displacement is one from this graph, from velocity time graph, how do you find the displacement? Just take the area under the graph. For a velocity time graph, area under the graph is the displacement. So you can easily find this S1 if you want. Then during the next 20 seconds, there's an acceleration. So in a velocity time graph, acceleration is indicated by a straight line. In the velocity time graph, Acceleration is indicated by a straight line. In a displacement time graph, acceleration is indicated by a curve like this. Right? So then it uh, obtained a uh, displacement of S2. Right? Uh, this is during the next 20 seconds. During the next 200 seconds, the object travels again with the constant velocity. So constant velocity is indicated like this. Constant velocity is indicated like this. So this is what happened during the next 200 seconds. And finally, it decelerates and comes to rest. So deceleration indicates like this. If deceleration is indicated like this, this kind of a curve. So this is what happened during the last 30 seconds. But I will explain further. I'll explain, I'll give you more descriptions about displacement time graph. First, you complete this answer. First, you complete this answer. After that, I'll give you more descriptions, more explanations, right? This is the displacement time graph for this velocity time graph. Complete it here. So if you want, you can calculate this S1, S2, S3, S4 from easily from this velocity time graph. That's just carry under the graph. Draw it.
Right, is the time enough for you to load the graph here? Who wants any more time to load this graph? Am I? Right, so in a velocity time graph, this is how we represent constant velocity. In a displacement time graph, constant velocity represented in a different way. So that's what I'm going to explain today. In a uh, velocity time graph, acceleration is represented by a straight line like this, an inclined straight line like this. But in a displacement time graph, acceleration is a curve. Right? This is constant velocity, this is deceleration. So I am going to give a note about these shapes, constant velocity, acceleration, and deceleration. So that's what I'm going to do next. So please check when you have uh, drawn all the things. If you have drawn all these things, I can, uh, I, I'll, I'll erase these things and I'll explain the, these shapes. You need my help to understand these shapes here. Uh, if you have drawn all these things, send a message to my Zoom chat saying done. Then I'll explain everything. Okay, dear. Yeah. Am I? Right, I think time is enough. Uh, look at what we So you should identify six different shapes uh, for the graphs lesson day. I'm going to give you those six different shapes and we can prove all these shapes also. Right. For the graphs lesson, you should remember six different shapes. Actually, you have learned those things even in no level. The problem is you have forgotten them now. You have, learned, you have learned those shapes in, in your O levels. Unfortunately, you have forgotten them, right? Uh, therefore, I should uh, recall your memory by giving those shapes. Look at what you
right actually there are three different kinds of motions you should uh, that you want to remember there are three different kinds of motion you should remember those motions the first kind is the constant velocity so i'm going to give you the shapes as a summary okay? right if you do not remember this uh, these shapes or still you are confused with the with these shapes so i can arrange another day to explain the explain the shapes of these graphs the first thing that you should remember is a uh, constant velocity constant velocity how do you represent constant velocity in a velocity time graph that's the graph that we have learned uh, last week in a velocity time graph it's so simple to explain represent constant velocity it's just a straight line uh, like this how do you represent the same motion when an object is moving with the constant velocity this is how we represent its motion in the velocity time graph how do you represent the same motion in a displacement time graph for the displacement let me use the letter s for the velocity uh, for the time use the uh, simple t right so in a displacement time graph the constant velocity is integral something like this and Okay. If I mark this angle as theta, if I mark this angle as theta from a velocity time graph, the gradient, the gradient of a displacement time graph, the gradient of a displacement time graph is equal to the velocity. This is what you want to remember. So therefore, velocity equals gradient means tan theta. Tan theta. That's it. So two different graphs, two different shapes. For a velocity time graph, this is constant velocity. The constant velocity is represented in a displacement time graph like this. You have learned all these things even in no levels, but you. Do not remember, or if you are confused with this, send a message to my WhatsApp. I can arrange another day to be teach these things. Right. Uh, we draw this is the summary number one. Like that, we are going to draw two more graphs, two more sections. So one section has two graphs, three sections, there will be six graphs. You have to remember the six shapes. And I'm going to explain those six shapes, six different graphs by doing some questions. That's what I'm going to do. Right, draw them there quick. Start saying summary. Here uh, is four displacement, right? We have used the letter S4 displacement. Right. Uh, the second kind of the thing is constant acceleration. How do we represent constant acceleration in a velocity time graph? Right? Velocity time graph. V for velocity, T for time. And how do you represent constant acceleration in a displacement time graph? T for time is for displacement. So this is what we are going to learn next. Summary number two. First you complete summary number one.
right constant acceleration represented in a velocity diagram like this if i mark this angle as alpha what is tan alpha here? tan alpha is the gradient of a velocity diagram so you can go here gradient of a velocity diagram what is it here two different graphs two different things that's the point the gradient of a displacement diagram is velocity the gradient of a velocity diagram is acceleration that's what you do that is acceleration okay so if i want to find the acceleration i should find tan alpha so uh, that's how we find in a displacement time graph acceleration is represented in a different way acceleration is represented like this right velocity time graph this is how we represent constant acceleration displacement time graph this is how we represent constant acceleration the gradient of a this velocity time graph is acceleration therefore if you find tan alpha that is equal to acceleration got it uh, complete it here so two different graphs two different meanings right Right, I think you have drawn them. Uh, now, somebody please tell me how to find the displacement from a velocity time graph. How do you find the displacement from a velocity time graph? Am I? Hmm? Area under the graph. Very good. So displacement, very good. So displacement equals displacement equals area. under a velocity time graph area under a velocity time graph displacement is area under velocity time graph that's it complete this knot this is the summary number 2 i'm going to do, uh, draw two more graphs we are going to use all the six graphs to solve the problems once we use uh, once we solve some problems you will be okay with the result start dear
right the third and last uh, two graphs the third set look at board how do you represent constant deceleration constant deceleration in a velocity time graph how do you represent constant uh, deceleration in a velocity time graph and how do you express the same constant deceleration in a displacement time graph? That's what we are going to learn. Can you draw them without my help here? Do you remember your past? Check you remember the constant deceleration shape in velocity time graph and constant deceleration shape in displacement time graph. You were trying to draw them before I draw them. You were trying. Constant deceleration. Constant deceleration. In a velocity time graph, constant deceleration is represented like this. In accelerator uh, displacement time graph, constant deceleration is represented like this. Curve bent to this direction. And look at board. If you find this angle, here we can't say gradient, as people know the reason. If you find tan beta, right? So this is how we represent constant deceleration in a velocity time graph. If you find tan beta, tan beta is equal to lambda. Deceleration. Deceleration. Very good. So still the relationship is true. So deceleration. Deceleration. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, deceleration equals tan beta. What about uh, displacement? Here? Hmm? Displacement is whether it is below uh, constant velocity, constant acceleration, no constant deceleration, whatever it is, velocity displacement is always equal to area under the car. So displacement is always equal to area under the graph area under the graph complete this here quick so this is the third set of the uh, summary we have six graphs we have drawn six graphs we are going to use those six graphs to solve problems complete
Right now, let's use these graphs to solve some problems. Hmm? I think you remain. Uh, I think you are okay. But for you to be okay, for you to be hundred percent okay with these shapes, uh, you should. We want to do some questions. Right. Without doing questions, I don't think that you will uh, that you can understand the things. Uh, can you hear me properly? Because I asked the same question again and again because we had a uh, data connection issue today. Can you hear me properly, Lamai? Yes, sir. Right. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. So let me show you the tube. Uh, can you see this? So this is our 600 questions tube, question number 96. Right. A car travels for, uh, with the points. Uh, we have answered this line. This is the question actually uh, we discussed at the very beginning of the class even. Right. So this, uh, can you see this clearly here, Lamoy? Yes, sir. Right. So 96 we have completed. Let's try for 97. Right. Right. I want to confirm whether you are able to see the question properly. Therefore, can somebody unmute the mic and read the question? Can somebody unmute the mic and read the question? The diagram shows the velocity time graph of two cars, A and B, traveling in a straight road. When B starts to move, A overtakes it. After some time, B needs acceleration of B. Third one, the distance that A travels before B meets it again. Right, thank you very much, dear. Thank you very much. The diagram shows the velocity time graph of two cars, A and B, traveling in a straight road. How many cars are there? There are two cars. When B starts to move, capital A overtakes it. Okay. After some time, B meets A again. Find the acceleration of B, and deceleration of B, the distance that A travels before B meets it again. So what are the things they have given? B accelerates for a period of 50 seconds. It reaches to a velocity of 2 L. After that, it has a constant velocity of 2 L, decelerates and comes to rest. So A travels with a constant velocity of 9 meter per second. That's the meaning. Right. Uh, okay, if we use my normal whiteboard. If you want to uh, any more time to draw these graphs, please take a screenshot. I'm going to erase everything. I'm going to discuss question number 97 of my 600 questions tube. So if you want, please take a screenshot. If you want any more time to draw these things, just take a screenshot. Right. Uh, what are the details that they have given us?
uh, you can go there. We should try to identify the story given in the question. Before we answer the question, we must be able to identify the story. Without understanding the story, right? We cannot answer the question, isn't it? So according to this question, right? According to this question, there are two vehicles. There are two vehicles. Right? They are traveling along a straight line road. The first vehicle is vehicle A. I don't care whether it is a cow, bus, or whatever it is. This is A. Uh, there is another vehicle, it is B. So if you check the graph, if you check the graph, uh, you should see something like this. Initially, in the, during the entire motion, not only initially, during the entire motion, the vehicle A has a constant velocity of 9. If you check the velocity time graph, this is what you, uh, this is what you will see. During the entire motion, A has a constant velocity of 9. So my question is, what should be the initial velocity of A? Somebody under the mic can tell me. What should be the initial velocity of A? 9 meter per second. 9 meter per second. Very good. It always has a constant velocity of 9 meter per second. Right. If you check B's graph, you will see something like this. Uh, let me use black color for it. You will see that it accelerates during the first 50 seconds. During the first 50 seconds, it accelerates and obtains a velocity of 12. So this is the zero point. So my question is, what is the initial velocity of B? Zero. 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 Very good. Excellent. Initial velocity of B is zero. Very good. Initial velocity of B is C. Right. After 50 seconds, what is the velocity of B here? 12. 12. After 50 seconds, let's say B is somewhere here. I don't know the position of A. It has a velocity of 12. It has a velocity of 12. After 50 seconds. After that, the graph tells us B travels with the constant velocity of 2L for a period of, let me check the question. B travels with the constant velocity of 2L for a period uh, of 70 seconds. So this is 120. This is 50. That's what should be this gap there, Lamai? 20 seconds. Sorry? 70 seconds. 70 seconds. Very good. 70 seconds. So during the next 7 seconds, it travels with the constant velocity of 12 and finally decelerates and comes to rest. Right? So this is the velocity time graph which is given in the picture. So if you look at the motion of B, if you are looking at the motion of B, right? During the next 50 seconds, during the next 70 seconds, B will travel with the velocity of 12. Within the next 70 seconds, the B will, the vehicle B will travel with the constant velocity of uh, 12. Finally, B comes to rest. Finally, B comes to rest. So this is the motion, right? Uh, during the entire time period, during the entire time period, so what is this here? 120 and yeah, 180. If this is 180, if this is 180, what should be this gap there? Now what should be this gap? 60. 60, right, very good. So this should be 60 because, because this is Yes. Right. So the story of B is very, very clear. It's very easy to understand the story of B. Both vehicles start to move. Both vehicles start to move at the same point. At the same point. The difference is, the difference is, 
V starts to move at rest, S starts to move with 9 meter per second, and it continues the motion like this. Right. I mean, I want this line, right? I'm going to draw the motion positions of A after each and every time in interval. So I need, I am going to draw, listen, I'm going to draw some figures here. I'm going to draw the positions of A here. I have drawn only the positions of B because that's the only thing, that's the thing which is clear, uh, given the graph properly. So this is the graph of B. This is the graph of B. Let me mark some points to explain the motion. Uh, let me take this point as X, this point as Y, and uh, this point as Z, right? Uh, X, Y, Z. Mm. And let me take this point as P, this point as Q, this point as R, and uh, wait, this way, and this angle as alpha, this angle as beta. Uh, one more point, and let me mark this point as X, let me mark this as X dash. This is Y, let me mark this as Y dash. This is Q, let me mark this as Q dash. This is R, so let me mark this as R dash. So sometimes we will leave this X, Y, Z, P, Q, R, X dash, Y dash, P dash, Q dash, uh, future. And I want to draw the positions of A here, right? So draw both. This is the question number 97 of our 600 questions due, right? I want to draw the positions of A, so you should keep the motion, uh, keep the space. Draw them all. Draw them all, start. Uh, once you have drawn the figures and the uh, graph, send me a message to my Zoom chat saying done, so I can start explaining and I can go further. Once you draw these things, send a message to my Zoom chat. I'm waiting. I'm waiting until you reply.
right while others grow in this graph can you can somebody tell me the acceleration of the uh, vehicle b can somebody find it there the acceleration the acceleration of the vehicle b how do you find this here the one I want to find the acceleration of the vehicle B. There are two methods. You, if you, you can and apply equal plus any, but from the graph, how do you find it? You need the gradient. Yeah, gradient. So that is tan alpha, right? Very good. So the acceleration of vehicle B is the acceleration of vehicle B is tan alpha. So tan alpha means opposite side. Opposite side is y z. Y z. Divided by the adjacent side that is x y. What is y z dear? Am I? What is y z? If this is zero, if this is twelve, so what is the height y z? Hmm? This is nine. This height is twelve. So therefore, y z height dear? Am I? Twelve. Yeah, it's so simple, eh? Very good. So it's so simple. See? This is twelve. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you want, you can mark these heights there. Yeah? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So y z height is twelve. What is x y length there? What is x y length? Fifty. X y length is fifty. Yes. So acceleration is twelve divided by fifty. Twelve can be divided by two. That is six. Fifty can be divided by two. That is twenty-five. So six so twenty-five meter per square seconds is the acceleration. For my equations, this is enough. For my equations, this is enough. But in the exam, you have to divide six by twenty-five. For my equations, always keep the answer as a fraction. Complete it here. Quick. Right. Then, the, how do you find the deceleration? This section. How do you find the deceleration? The my deceleration of B. 
Lama, how do you find deceleration of B? Hello? That is the uh, that is tan. Tan beta. Tan beta, very good. So deceleration is tan beta. Beta, sir. Yes, very good. Can you find it that way? This is I this is angle beta, right? And the beta. Can you find deceleration without my help and send your answers to my Zoom chat here? Find the deceleration. Use this equation. Oh, deceleration equal can be there. Can you use this equation? Sorry. Can you use this equation? Find the deceleration and send to my Zoom chat. Try here. Find the deceleration and send your answers to my Zoom chat. I'm waiting for your answers. Uh, what about my OSD? Is it clear or is it lagging? Is my voice clear or is it lagging? Lagging, sir. Right, tan beta is tan beta is opposite side that is PQ divided by adjacent side that is QR. So tan beta is opposite side PQ over QR. Can you see the board clearly? Yes, sir. PQ, you see this, this PQ height, just look at what the PQ height is exactly 12. This is 12, right? So PQ is 12, QR is 60. So PQ is 12, QR is 60, 12 divided by 60 is 1, 
value at by value is 1, 6 value at by value is 5. So the deceleration is 1 over 5 meter per square seconds. Who got this deceleration answer correctly? Lamai, who got this answer? Right now, I want to find something like this. I will find the displacement of the vehicle after 50 seconds and displacement of the car uh, A after 50 seconds. I think your time is enough, so I erase this side. I erase this section. Look at more. I want to find. Look at more. Displacement. Of capital B after fifty seconds. So displacement can be obtained by area under the graph. Area under the graph means this section. Uh, this is x. This is z. So area under the graph means this area. I'm talking about the vehicle B. So. Displacement of the 50 seconds is area under the graph. Area under the graph means area of xy is a triangle. Can you do the rest without my help and find the displacement okay. of the vehicle you... after 50 seconds and send you answers to my Zoom chat here? Find the displacement of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Uh, during the first, just after the 50th second, or during the first 50th I think you didn't hear me, right? Uh, I, I asked you to find the displacement of the vehicle capital B during the first 50 seconds. The displacement is equal to the area under the graph. If you consider the first 50 seconds, the graph is a triangle. X, Y, Z triangle. Therefore, area under the graph means area of the X, Y, Z triangle. So you just want to find the area of the X, Y, Z triangle, and that is the displacement of the vehicle capital B uh, during the first uh, 50 seconds. Find that and send it to my uh, Zoom chat. Send your answer to my Zoom chat. Start there. Alamai, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, I asked you to find the displacement of vehicle B during the first 50 seconds. Who found that answer? 
Please raise your hand if you have found the displacement of vehicle B during the first 50 seconds. Lamai. Right, so area of XYZ triangle mean area for triangle is half into base, that is XY, into perpendicular height, that is YZ, that is YZ. So half into XY, that is 50. Uh, YZ, so YZ is 30, you see, this height is 30, you must be able to recognize it. This is just 30, you see. Always with this gap between these two lines, the, so x y uh, y z is thirty. So it's very simple. This is fifty. Thirty divided by two, half me, half. So thirty divided by two is fifty. So fifty, uh, you can write the zero here. You can multiply by five. Write the zero here. Multiply by five. Five times five, twenty-five. Two remaining. Five times one, five plus two, seven. Seven hundred fifty. Who got this answer? Who got this answer? Please raise your hand up. Sir, why? Ah, so is that is, sorry, sorry, sorry. That is not 30. <laughs> sorry, this is not 30. This is 12, eh? Sorry. It's 12. 12. So it's 12, right? Sorry. So, sorry. It's 12. So, XY 50, correct? So, YZ is 12. YZ is 12, sorry. Or 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then 6 times 0, 0, 6 times 5, 30, 300. Who got this answer? Please raise your hand up. If you got the displacement of the vehicle B during the first 50 seconds as 300 meter, please raise your hand up. Everybody, please. I want to check the students who got this answer. Yes, good. Nice. Now, I want to do the same thing to the vehicle capital E. That's what I want to do. Look at what here. Can you all, you will try to find, try to find the displacement, the displacement of capital A during the first 50 seconds. Displacement of B, not after, sorry. Not after the uh, displacement of B for 50 seconds. So displacement of A for the 50 seconds. This is not after, this is for 50 seconds. How do you find it here? And it's again area under area under the graph, right? So, which area? I'm to, uh, A, the vehicle A travels with the constant velocity of nine. So, I want to find the displacement of A during the first 50 seconds. So, area of A means this here, see? This part. So, what is this here? What is the shape of this section? X, X is a Y is a Y. So X, Y, Y is a X dash. What is it? It's a rectangle. So that is the area of X, Y, Y dash, X dash rectangle. Can you find the area of this X, Y, Y dash, X dash rectangle? That is the displacement of A during the first 50 seconds, find this and send your answers to my Zoom chat. Start it. Find the answer and send it to my Zoom chat. Start.
I'm waiting for your answers here. So displacement of vehicle A during the first 50 seconds is the area of x, y, y dash, x dash rectangle. Area for rectangle is length into width. Length is x, y, width is x, x dash. So length is x, y, width is or height is x, x dash. So x, y is 15. X, X dash is 9. So 9 times 5 is 45, 450. So within the first uh, 50 seconds, A has traveled a distance of 450, B has traveled only 300. So if I mark this displacement of B, so this is 300. So it has a displacement of 300 meters after 50 seconds, but after 50 seconds, uh, A is somewhere here. It's traveling with a constant velocity of 9 meters per second and it has traveled a distance of 450 meters. So it means still, it means still, still B is uh, behind A. Still B is behind A. Am I ready? That's a gap. Got it? So after, sorry, after 50 seconds, we yeah, like this. So this is the displacement for 50 seconds. After 50 seconds, A is here, B is there. Got it? Complete it here. Is this clear or may I again explain? Do you have any doubt? Right. Thank you, dear. Now I'm going to ask you to find displacement of B. Look at what displacement of B during sorry. Uh, displacement of B after hundred and this is fifty, this is seventy. After 170 seconds. So that is area under the graph. So now we have found the displacement of the first 50 seconds. That is area of x, y, z. We have already found the uh, displacement. So it means you have to do two things. Deal displacement during the first 50 seconds. That is the area of x, y, z triangle. We know. We have found it. That we have found that as 300. Nothing to do, uh, nothing to worry about it. During displacement of the vehicle uh, B during the first, in the first 50 seconds is 300 meter, we have already found. The displacement of vehicle B during the next 70 seconds, that is the area of uh, Y is a PQ rectangle. So area of Y is a Y is a PQ rectangle. Am I right here? Can you identify this? This X Y is a triangle. Area of is it here? Area of X Y is a triangle. X Y is a triangle gives the displacement during the first fifty seconds. We have found it as three hundred. Area of uh, y is a PQ rectangle, this area, gives the displacement of vehicle B during the next 70 seconds. 50 plus 70 is, so 50 plus 70 is 120. 50 plus, 50 plus 70 is 120. So displacement of vehicle B after, just after 120 seconds is area of x, y is a triangle plus area of y is a pq rectangle. This is the thing that you will find. Area of a rectangle is length, that is yq length into width, that is yq into yz. Can you find this and send your answers to my Zoom chat? Find the displacement of vehicle B after 120 seconds. That is given by two sections of the graph. 
XYZ and YZ BQ area of XYZ we have already found that is 300. The only thing that uh, thing that you have to find is this. Find this and send me the total displacement of the vehicle for 120 seconds. You can use the word after or you can use displacement of B for 120 seconds. Can you find this and send to my Zoom chat here? You were right, Lamai. Uh, if you have found the displacement of vehicle B uh, for 120 seconds, send your answers to me here. I'm waiting for your answers. Some students, they have already sent me the answers. I'm waiting for your answers also. Quickly, what is the displacement of the vehicle B after 120 seconds? Or uh, uh, during the time period of 120 seconds, that's what I'm asking. So, uh, this is 300. We have already found it, so I do not worry about it. YQ. YQ is length into width is the area for rectangle. YQ is 70. YZ. YZ is 12. YZ is 12. So this is 300. 300 in, uh, sorry, not into 300 plus 300 plus. Uh, just write the zero here. Just write the zero here and multiply by seven. Write zero and multiply by seven. Seven times two, 14. One remaining, seven times one, seven plus four is eight. Zero, seven times two, 14. Seven times one, seven plus eight. So that is zero plus zero, zero. Four plus four, eight plus three, one, 1140 meter. 1140 meter. Who got this answer? You got this answer, please raise your hand up in the Zoom chat. Okay, very good. Right, now your turn, please do the same thing to the vehicle B, so the vehicle A. Do the same thing, what you want to do, the displacement of A for 120 seconds. The displacement of A for 120 seconds, that is the area of X, X dash, Q dash, Q. Entire area, this entire area, everything. This total area. Right, so that is area of. We want to find. We want. We want to find the displacement of uh, displacement of A for 120 seconds is area under the graph. That is area under the graph. That is area of. That is the area of x x dash x x dash q dash q q dash Q rectangle. Can you find this here? This is Q. 
this point A is Q, right? So displacement of vehicle A during after 100 milliseconds is the area under the graph. Area under the graph means this area, this area that is the area of x, x dash, q dash, q. Find this and send to my Zoom chat. Find this and send your answer to my Zoom chat. Start here. Uh, and who tried to answer this question at home there? Who tried this question at home? Come on. Right. It's not easy to find the time that vehicle B overtakes A. You cannot find it, it that much easily. At once, you can't find the time that B uh, overtakes A, right? Because uh, we have found that uh, displacement of B for, uh, after one. Uh, 100 bit seconds is 1140. So it means this distance. Look at what? It means 50 seconds plus 7 in 100 seconds. So it means this displacement is, this is what we have found earlier. This displacement is 1140 meters. Right? So this is after 100 bit seconds. So after 120 seconds, where will we be? Where will be the vehicle A? After 120 seconds, the vehicle B has traveled a distance of 1140 meters. That's what we have found. And after 120 seconds, where will be A? So we have to find this displacement, right? So area of x, x dash uh, triangle, uh, rectangle means x, x dash, q dash, q. So that is length into it. Length is x, q. Length is x, q. Width is x, x dash, x, x dash. So uh, x q is 50 plus 70, 50 plus 70, 120. x q is 120, x, x dash is 9. You have to multiply this. So if you multiply this, you get 9 times 0, 0. 9 times 2, 18. 1 remaining. 9 times 1, 9 plus 1, 10, 1080. So, what do you think there? What, what do you think? Who got this answer? First, raise your hand up. Who got this answer? Who got the displacement of A after 100 minutes is 1080? Lamai? Right. Interesting. Very good. Happy. So, it means still, still, Vehicle A is behind, uh, sorry. Now A is behind B. A is somewhere here. This is A. It travels with the velocity of 9 meter per second, right? A has traveled a distance of, A has traveled a distance of 1080 meters for 120 seconds. So now B is leaving. B is leaving. B has traveled 1140 meters for 120 seconds. A has traveled only 1080 meters. So it means definitely in somewhere, in somewhere after 50 seconds, after some time, the 50 seconds, B has overtaken. So we have to find that exact time duration. 
So this is the story. Please complete the figure. Uh, now my velocity time graph cannot be used any further. <laughs> so the thing is, after 120 seconds, A has traveled a larger distance. So B has traveled a larger distance than A. So it means now we have the vehicle B has overheat. It has overheat. But we won't find the exact time uh, time slot at which the uh, the time that the A overtakes B. Right. You complete the uh, figure here. You complete the figure. So this is not an easy question, right? All these questions are in the real examination level questions. Even one question may be take uh, one or two hours to explain even a single question. These are not so simple ones. Learning something and examination is somewhat the different cases here. So once you have enough experience, you don't want to do, you want to, uh, you don't want to write this much of things. That's what I'm going to explain next year. The only thing that I wanted to show you how to find displacements at different time regions. During different time intervals, you have different displacements. And the other thing I want to tell you that at the end of 120 seconds, B is leading. And A is behind B. So, but you can understand that once you have done a lot of questions, you may have understood, you have the ability to understand that without doing these calculations. Without doing these calculations, you get the ability to identify that B will be leading after 120 seconds. You get that ability by doing questions. But now we are learning, so you we, we write all the possible things for us to understand. Once we understood, once we do a lot of questions, you don't want to do these kind of things for, uh, to get the answer. Actually, you don't want. And I'll, I'm going to show you the next, uh, the thing that you should really do in the examination. I erase these things and I'll show you how to do the question in the exam without writing this much of things. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, may I erase those, all these things because I want more uh, space for the answer. Now I may erase all these things. Hello. Who wants more time to draw these things? Play a uh, draw and write these things. Please raise your hand up. If you want any more time to write and draw these things, please raise your hand up. Right, I erase all these things and I'm going to explain the story much easier than this. Look at it. This is question, this question is much more easier than these things. I just wanted to give you some practice of uh, finding these placements. Now you have some idea. Look at board here. Look at board. Right. Now you must talk to me. When I ask questions, you must talk to me. Right. Both vehicles starts the motion at the same place. Both A and B start their motions at the same place. At the same place. The difference, the only difference is vehicle B starts the motion at rest. But vehicle A starts the motion with a velocity of 9 meter per second. 9. Can you see my time? It starts the motion with the velocity of 9 meter per second. According to the graphs, we have found that after 50 seconds, A has traveled only, sorry, B has, I, I don't remember it. Uh, after 50 seconds, what is the displacement of B here? Hmm? What is the displacement of B after 50 seconds? Somebody please tell me. 300 meters, sir. Two, uh, 200 or 300? 300. 300. Okay, good. 
So after 50 seconds, right, B has traveled a distance of 300 meter for 50 seconds. What is the distance traveled or the displacement of A after 450 seconds? Lamai? 450. 450. So it means A is still leading. Am I right? A is still leading. Right? Uh, even after 50 seconds. So if you consider the story or B is moving with the velocity, I don't know the velocity of B. So A has traveled 400 and where can I write? It has traveled it has traveled 450 meters for 50 seconds. But if you think about 120 seconds, what is the displacement of B 420 seconds here? <coughs> displacement of B 420 seconds? Displacement of B 420 seconds, how many meters do you? Can't you hear me? 1140, sir. 1140 meters. So it means, but after 120 seconds, A has traveled only 180. 1080. So it means B will uh, overtake. Now, my question is let's say after, right? For the, uh, listen now we are okay for the first 50 seconds. My question is this. My question is this. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me very carefully. Right. B is traveling with an acceleration. B is traveling with an acceleration. Therefore, its, it's velocity of B increases with the time. Let's say after capital T seconds, this is 50. T1 is 50. T2 is, let's say, capital T seconds. After capital T seconds, let's say B is here. B is here. Uh, and we know after 50 seconds, we know the velocity of B is 12. We know this 12 meter per second. Right? So after capital T seconds, 50 plus capital T seconds, velocity is 12. Let's say it is here. Let's say this is T2, this is S2 meter. Let's say at the time B reaches to this total line. Can you see the board? Yeah. At the time B reaches to this total line, let's say A is also at the same total line. Then what will happen? Now what will happen? A and B both are at the same place. Now what will happen? It has a velocity of 9 meter per second. It has a velocity of 12 meter per second. Now what will happen? Both are at the same dotted line. Place. So what will happen here? Samaya? Displacements are equal. Yeah, displacements are equal. What about the velocities? B has a larger velocity than A, so it means at this point, B will definitely overtake A. Am I right? So total distance traveled by A and B is 50 plus T seconds. This is 50 seconds. This is capital T seconds. Can you understand? So the time duration, look at what if you consider this, the time duration, total time is 50 plus capital T seconds. Both vehicles travel the same distance of simple D. I don't know what the simple D is. Can you understand? They start the motion at this point and they have reached to the same point after 50 plus T seconds. After 50 seconds, A has a displacement of 450, B has a displacement of 300 meters, but after 50 plus capital D seconds, both have the same displacement, both have reached the same point, 
but now V has a larger velocity than A, therefore V will overtake A at this point. If I want, I can name this place, starting place as, I can use any letter. So let's say starting place as, uh, we have used P, U, R, S, P, U, L, You can use any letter, right? Uh, would you please draw this diagram? Would you please draw this diagram? After that, I'll explain the story. Right? These are real examination questions. You need a higher attention to understand this. And this is the diagram that you want to draw in the exam, not the previous one. This is what you want to draw in the exam. Right now, how do we represent this story? How do we represent this story in our graph here? On the graph, how do you represent it? Look at what here. The graph is uh, the velocity time graph. Look at what. The velocity time graph of A is very simple. It's just a straight line. It travels with the constant velocity of 9. That's nothing to think about it. Right? So we have found that this is the graph of A. Uh, it has a constant velocity of nine. So there are two sections here. This is the 
motion during the 50 seconds. So after 50 seconds, A has the displacement of 150 meter, B has a displacement of 300 meter. After 50 seconds, we have considered another capital T second. So within the next capital T seconds, A still A travels with the velocity of 9 meter per second. But what about B here? If you consider B, it accelerates during the first 50 seconds and it obtains a velocity of 12. What is the story of medium? During the first 50 seconds, it travels with the constant velocity, constant acceleration, and it obtains a velocity of 12. After that, it travels a constant velocity of 12 for next uh, about 70 seconds. Now, this capital D is less than 70, right? So, I can find, look at what, this is the graph of A, right? Uh, graph of B. Now, I want to find, I know the displacement of A during the first 50 seconds, I know. I know the displacement of B during the first 50 seconds. I want to know the displacement of A. I want to know the displacement of A during this capital T seconds time period. And I want to know the displacement of capital B during this capital T seconds. That's what I want to do. Okay. So now I'm going to listen in. Now, now I'm going to edit the two statements. Listen to me, don't write anything. Don't write anything. This is what you really want to do in the exam. I want to find the displacement of B for, look at board, 50 plus capital T seconds. 50 plus capital T seconds. Now we already know that area for 50 seconds is 300 meter. There is nothing to think. Right? I'm talking about B. Uh, then area of uh, displacement of B during the next 50 seconds, capital T seconds is the area of this huge triangle. What is the, shall we give a name for this triangle again? Mm, let me name this triangle as simple A, simple B, simple C, and simple D, right? So displacement, listen to me carefully, displacement of B during the first 50 seconds, 300 meter, we have already found it. And the displacement of B vehicle, this is B, displacement of B vehicle, during the next capital T seconds is area of A, B, C, all are simple letters, A, B, C, D, rectangle. Okay, listen to me carefully. So now area of A, B, C, D, rectangle is length into it, that is B, C into B, A, B, C into B, A, length into it, B, C into B, A, B, C is capital T, B A, B C is capital T, B A. How can somebody tell me this B A height here? What is this B A height, Lamai? What is this B A height? Simple A B height, A B O B A height, Lamai? 12. 12, very good, that is 12. So this is T into 12, right? So the displacement of vehicle B during the time period of 50 plus capital T seconds is 300 plus T to 12 is 12 T. Let me take this as my first equation. You have drawn this figure. Now you draw this graph, a new graph to indicate the new section of the motion. And then you write this. And we are going to do the same thing for A next time. Start there, quick. Please write them all. Sir, can you send a photo of the boat? Sorry, yeah. Can you send a photo of the boat to the yeah, office? If you have it, uh, yes, dear. Yeah. Sure, why not? Thank you, sir.
Right, love I. Uh, let's do the same thing for A. Displacement of, we are going to do the same thing for the vehicle A, right? Right. So, within the time of 50 plus T seconds, the vehicle meet each other. Within the time duration of 50 plus capital T seconds, both vehicles have traveled the same distance. Right? So, displacement of A4, look at board, the displacement of A4, 50 plus capital T seconds. So, what is that here? It is just this area, am I right? This is the area which I have shaded. This black color shaded area is the displacement of vehicle A. No need to even mark it. Right? So, displacement of the vehicle is area under the graph. Area under the graph. So that is that area is length into width. Length is 50 plus capital T. Length is 50 plus capital T. Width is this is just nine. Width is nine. Length is 50 plus T. Width is nine. So let me remove the brackets. Nine times five, 45. That is 150. Nine times T is nine capital. T. 9 capital T. So let me take this as 9 times capital T. So write that one here. We have found the displacement of vehicle B within the time duration of 50 plus capital T seconds. And we have found the displacement of the vehicle A within the same time duration of 50 plus capital T seconds. At the end of these uh, 50 plus capital T seconds, both vehicles are displaced. But B has a larger velocity than A. Therefore, B will overtake T. That's the story. Write them all here quick. Right now, you see here, after 50 plus capital T seconds, displacement of A equals displacement of B. That's what you're going to write. I won't erase this figure. I won't erase this figure. If you want, you may take a screenshot. I'm going to erase it. I need some more space to draw it, so I'm going to erase the figure. If you want any more time, just take a screenshot. Right. Look at board. Right. So the thing is after 50 plus, or you can say just after, that is much more better. Just after 50 plus capital T seconds. Right? The story is displacement of capital E equals displacement of capital B. 
After 50 plus t seconds, displacement of capital A is this. After 50 plus t seconds, displacement of capital A is 450 plus 90. 450 plus 9 times t. After 50 plus capital T seconds, displacement of B is 300 plus 12 times T. 300 plus 12 times T. So I'll take 300 this side, 450 plus 300 come this side as minus plus 400, 300 come to this side as minus 300. 12t plus 9t come this side as minus 90. I just interchange the things. 450 minus 300 is 150 equals 12 minus 9 is 3. So stay to this side. 150 divided by 3 equals capital T. So it means capital T equals 15 divided by 5 over 3 is 5 and 50 seconds. Am I right? So we have found the value of capital T. So at that time, uh, B will overtake it. But we won't write one more thing. Because you write this, we, will, we should write one more sentence to earn full marks. Write them all there quick. And if you have any doubts, you can send a message to Zoom chat. Even you can unmute the mic and ask. Right, so the only thing that you should write is this. Right, so what is the total time taken for vehicle B to overtake A? Somebody on me the mic and tell me. Yeah. Total time taken for the vehicle B to overtake A. Lamai? 100 seconds. 100 seconds. How do you get A? Isn't there? I'm so happy. Very good. Right, so you see this. Look at board. The total time taken for capital B to overtake to overtake A. They meet each, each other they meet each other after 50 plus T seconds. After 50 plus T seconds they were here at the same point. But at that time, B has a larger velocity of 12 and A has a smaller velocity of 9. As they at the same time as B has a larger velocity, B will overtake A. So the total time taken for B to overtake A is 50 plus capital T. So that is 50 plus capital T is 50. We have found that T is 50. Let me list this. And that is 100 seconds. So this is the answer. 
Miss White is there. Uh, if we try to solve this problem using relative velocity, we have a small problem here. The problem is A is accelerating, B is accelerating while A is traveling with the constant velocity. So if you try to apply the theory that we have learned in relative velocity, you, you will face that problem here. It has an uh, B has an acceleration, it has a constant velocity. But yes, possible, but sometimes it will be difficult. Once you have enough experiences of doing the predictions, I think graph will be the easiest. Once you solve, this is the second or third problem that you ask, uh, that we solve for graph section. So therefore, it may be difficult. May I tell you a very easy method to overcome the difficulties here, isn't it? I have sent you theory paper one, and I have discussed all the questions in theory paper one using equations. I have discussed all the questions in theory paper one using uh, linear motion equations. Now you know the answers. You know everything about those questions. So within this week, try to answer the questions in theory paper one using the velocity time graphs. Then it will be easier. That is the easiest way for you to understand because you know the questions, you know the answers, you know everything about those questions. The only thing is you solve the same problems using the graphs. So give a try to solve the questions given in theory paper one using the graphs. That's the easiest way, right? I think you have understood these two questions, and at the same time you can try the other three questions, uh, 98, 99, and 100, and that will be the end of the tutorial. And I'll send you the next tutorial uh, within this week, within uh, about yeah, within seven, within this week I'll send you the next set of questions. Yes, right? So that's it. We have completed everything.